Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. A little update before we start the actual video. If you're watching this after the last drag race video, I do have a custom eight inch converter, 4,500 stall being built right now. So we're gonna be able to launch this thing like it needs to be. Uh, after I get that converter back in, hit the streets, try it out on the streets, and then it's back to the drag strip. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this video here is all about the AN rad hose that I built before I fired the motor up for the first time. You guys have probably already seen this thing. I'm getting a ton of compliments on it every time I pop the hood. People are asking about it. So I did actually have all the footage on my phone for some time and I uh, never put the video together just because the weld fat videos are the hardest to put together and edit. But uh, people keep asking about it. So I decided to put the video together. If you do like this one, do remember to like and share the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and go back in my videos and check out the timing cover mod video. It's a similar style weld fab video. It really doesn't get any love on the channel. So if you like this one, check that out. But without further ado, let's kick it off to the video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe. Uh, you see here we got the 530 horsepower small block Mopar back into my 68 Dart now and it's all hooked up ready to go. The only thing I have left yet to do is install the radiator and the water system. Uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity now to go ahead and build myself a proper AN style radiator hose. I'm uh, not just talking about taking my original hose and putting a braided sheath over top. I'm going to build a proper one using all the proper AN style fittings. Um, just to give it a much more racy look, plus the ease and convenience of AN fittings is outstanding. Uh, now when I started looking for a thermostat housing um, in a Dash 20 AN for a small block Mopar, I couldn't find one, so I ended up deciding to make my own. I picked up a couple of fittings off of Summit Racing and headed off to the weld shop, started welding. Take a look. Okay, we're back here in the weld shop and we're ready to start modifying our radiator to accept an AN hose. Uh, this part's real simple, just got to cut off the original stock style uh, slip-on fitting here and then I can weld on this guy here. That's a Dash 20 AN fitting. Picked up two of them off Summit Racing for uh, like eight bucks each and I'm going to use one here on the radiator and one to build our new water neck. So this guy here, just cut and weld and then we'll get into the water neck after that. Okay, now that that radiator's totally cleaned out, I got my fitting tacked into position. Just getting set up now to TIG weld. Show you guys the machine. Back on my trusty Miller Dynasty 280 TIG machine. It's really nice, really like it. Ready to start taking up now. Okay, there's our fitting all welded up now. Uh, that radiator didn't weld all that great. I think it was pulling a lot of dirt from the inside of the radiator when I was welding it. Uh, you can see I actually even went over top of one of the pre-existing welds there, just because it didn't look that great. It sits right on top, so. But she's all sealed up now, so now we can move on to our water neck and uh, continue with the project. Okay, ready to move on to the water neck now. Uh, this is a simple process as well. I have my previous water neck here. Uh, I got this one from 440 source. This one's pretty good actually. Has a thermostat provision, doesn't leak. It's nice and true and flat. It's one piece of aluminum, pretty nice, but it doesn't have an AN fitting, so it's not gonna work for us. But what I can do with it is I can use it for a template. I can uh, get the whole pattern, the shape of it, transfer it over to a piece of 3 8 aluminum and uh, take it to the bandsaw, drill press, and I'll have a new base that I can weld our second Dash 20 fitting onto. Okay, 
Okay, we got our base plate all finished up now. It's uh, cut, drilled, detailed a little bit, even took it to the router, cleaned up that outside edge, make it look a little nicer. Now we can just take our dash 20 fitting, drop it in, back on the TIG welder. Okay, there is our finished housing. See it next to the stock one there. So I'm pretty happy with that weld. It turned out pretty nice. Um, afterwards, I did go in and I actually routered the inside edge of it just to make sure it had a real good flow. But that's gonna look real nice on the front of the engine. Next stop, get back to the garage, start making the line. Boom, just like that, back home in the garage. Got the radiator installed. I went ahead and put all the rest of the accessory drives on the front of the engine. And uh, this thing is looking so cherry. I'm so stoked to get this thing on the road. But here we go, we got our Dash 20 AN fittings in place. Just kind of mocked in place so we can kind of simulate what kind of hose length we need. There you can see that's a Dash 20 90 degree on our new welded thermostat housing. That's a 45 degree. So at this stage, all you gotta do is take a quick measurement, ballpark where you wanna be. Uh, it was about 13 inches. I went ahead, cut myself a piece of Dash 20 hose. Now we can head over to the bench and assemble the fittings and uh, we'll have a hose assembly ready to go. Here in the side shop, I uh, got the vise set up, got some soft jaws in there. You definitely want to get those for handling these AN fittings. I even put some extra masking tape on them as well. Get a proper, this is a Dash 20, proper AN wrench. I always put some extra tape on there because these things are easy to mar. I went ahead and I got the back assembly on already. And uh, I, after doing that, I took it back to the car. I marked out where top was on it and then threaded the other nut onto the other fitting, found out where it would stop threading on, and that will be top of the other side. So now I can just simply line the two tape ends up and uh, the fitting I know will land correctly with 190 being where I want it and the 45 being where the other side needs to be. Now these guys are pretty simple. You can just slide them on and then really just start threading on as soon as you can't do it by hand, throw it in the vise, squeeze it tight, and then just start threading the other assembly into it further using your wrench and just make sure it doesn't push the back end out. Okay, here's our finished product. Looks totally trick. Takes that engine bay from a streetcar look to a race car look. Totally awesome, highly recommend it. Now I learned a little bit in doing this video. Um, so that top 90 actually swiveled, so me lining them up didn't really matter. I could spin that guy after. I also should have bought an adjustable AN wrench. That would have saved uh, some trouble trying to get those things not to mar by taping up the Dash 20 wrench that I had. So I'll probably pick one of those up in the future. But I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out. Super trick. Highly recommend. Okay, so that's going to close it out for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you did like it, go ahead, hit the like button, share the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to get that new converter in here. Hit the streets with a 4,500 stall. Then we're going drag racing again. Uh, I also want to thank you guys who are subscribed for staying with me on the channel here. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see something more. If you like this video, you want to see more of this fab weld stuff, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.